Hi, everybody. My name is George Firikan from the Lights on Data show, and I'm here with Nofel. Yeah, I'm Nofel Testown. I'm the CEO and co-founder of QueerTech. Well, please tell me a little bit about QueerTech. Yeah, absolutely. So we are a nonprofit organization based out of Montreal. We're pan-Canadian, and we support the LGBT community to access the tech industry, advance their career in tech, or launch tech businesses. And is this um, individuals, companies, both? Yeah. So we work with the queer community as individuals that can come to our cohort style programs, mm -hmm. but we also work with tech companies who are looking to recruit from our community um, or looking to fund companies um, and entrepreneurs. That's beautiful because with the introduction of AI and everything okay. that's bringing it as advancements, I think upskilling is the best way to go. Absolutely. I mean, Canada has a lot of talent. There is a lot of people who are looking for a job today. So yeah. there is a lot of work that we're doing around to upskill and reskill the community so they can take these future jobs that AI is bringing. So what are the steps if somebody wants to engage and benefit from your services? Yeah. What's the first step that they would have yeah, to take? Yeah, so um, go to our website, queertech.org. It's a membership-based website, but it's free. So people can sign up and join the different streams for our organization. So if they are like students or um, like career transitioner to tech, they can join the program QT Access. So this is a program that can help them build their confidence. Uh, redo their resumes and everything so they can land their future job. Um, if they are already in tech and looking to advance their career, they can apply for our QT Leader Program. Mm -hmm. This is a program that supports people who are looking to become first-time manager, and so we're here to support them through that journey. Or they, if they're entrepreneurs and want to launch a company, we have a QT Founder Program that they can apply for that program and join the cohorts. It's a 12-week program that we do. That's beautiful. And are your programs in-person, virtual, a mix? Yeah, so we're doing uh, our program content delivery is virtual because we're across Canada. But QueerTech also organized meetups in six different cities. So okay. every quarter we do meetups in Vancouver, Calgary, Ottawa, Montreal, Toronto, and Halifax. Tell me a little bit about your, your vision and hope for yeah, 2025. Absolutely. Well, you know, the, the tech world is changing a lot, right? When, when we started doing this, our goal is really increasing to us LGBTQ representation in tech. We want Canada to be a global leader in innovation. Yes. If we want to be that leader, we need to build diverse companies so they can create the more uh, innovative products in the market. And so our vision is to contribute to a more inclusive economy and an innovative um, um, industry in tech. And, um, and also really we say we want to queer the tech ecosystem. So it's really increasing that representation across the world. We do have in the next 10 years, we want to train 60,000 um, people to upskill and reskill them. We want to train 10,000 founders and see uh, a thousand of them get funding up mm -hmm. to a billion dollars. So really have a big vision that we're working towards. Yeah, go big or go home. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for putting the lights on this and everything that you do to upscale Canada's diversity. Absolutely, yeah, well, thank you for having me. Yeah, really appreciate it, thank awesome. you. Awesome, yeah, thank you.